62 inch polished brass Casablanca California Zephyr. Uh, this fan I got from Matt Cody in 2021 and installed it in my dining room basically when I got home from Fanimation that year. Um, there's a time lapse on YouTube of me replacing uh, this with another Cali Zephyr that which I still own. And yeah, pretty cool fan. Uh, it's IntelliTouch. And uh, re the reason why I changed this one out for, uh, or changed the old one out for this one, is just simply because of this Fabian fixture. Um, and you might be asking if the blades are improper. Yes, they are. Um, these are the blades that came with the antique brass one that used to be here. Um, ideally, I would have wanted to have the antique brass one with this light kit, but that would just look so tacky. Like, it would just look so bad, so I decided that I'll just switch out the whole fan. But without any further ado, let's go ahead with demo mode. And I screwed it up because this IT board is not the greatest. I had to edit out about a minute of footage um, because I actually screwed it up. Or I didn't screw it up, the fan did. Because the board in it is kind of funky. But last night I was talking to one of my friends and like uh, she was like saying like how she was she was like she uh, she did not believe me when I said that, um, like, where the glass was made and, like, and all that stuff. Um, and I kid you not, she actually said that this was uh, probably the most beautiful fan she's ever seen. And, I mean, all the collectors could back her up on that if you wanted to. Um, this fan has uh, five candelabra base incandescent bulbs in it. Now, as soon as the lights go out, I will just apply power. There we go. Um, as I was saying, it has five uh, candelabra incandescent bulbs, and the reason why is because LEDs in IT do not mix. So, I purposely did not do uh, LEDs, as much as I love LEDs. So, there's the light at its dimmest setting, there's the next, there's the next, there it is at full, and let's go with speed number one. For those who have never seen an IntelliTouch fan before, these are six speed fans. And I don't know how many, and I can't remember exactly how many light settings there are. I guess it really depends on the IT board because I think, I, if I remember correctly, it is different depending on the IT board. I could be, I could be wrong, I could be right, I don't know. I've never really uh, messed with that. But, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the lighting in here isn't as good as it was in the living room, but you know what? That's okay. Like, I don't really care. It, really? I didn't even hit it. Like, as soon as it beeped, I, I, uh, um, I let go of it, and then it's just like, oh, I'm just gonna turn off. Yeah, this, the, the board in this fan is definitely, ha definitely has some issues with it. Um, but, oh well, <laughs> I might have to, uh, take the fan down eventually and, uh, fix that. I'll probably have to get a, uh, what do you call it? Excuse me. Uh, new board for it. Not sure what board this has. It has a W32 uh, type of IT, even though the IT controller that I have in it is a 31. Uh, 
and the difference is uh, 32 is uh, works for three-way and 31 is just like a W11 wiring wise, so. Speed three. Uh, speed three is kind of like, um, kind of a uh, speed that's more of like a low-ish medium. Uh, speeds one and two are more of a low speed. Um, for, for you non collectors who are watching this, um, you know, unlike most, uh, actually, I'm not going to go there, but um, I try, and for those who didn't know, like, I'm going to start to try to make my videos, like, more inclusive to everybody and not just explain it in a way that only fan collectors would understand. I'm going to try to uh, cater to those people that um, uh, don't really know much about fans and only understand, like, especially with the, uh, um, uh, fans that have more than three speeds, like the, um, because most people are only familiar with the three speeds, and most people aren't familiar with the, uh, hey, you know, some fans have more than three speeds, so in, in, in types of videos where it's like that, I'm going to try to explain kind of what each speed is, um, for those people, so, um, and other collectors who are watching this, little tip for you. Here's speed four. Uh, speed four to me is like um, is a medium speed. Um, like in terms of like when you compare and contrast like the low and the high speeds on this fan, this fan is pretty much an almost dead medium. Um, and it's also really and it's easier for me to kind of uh, pick out like which speed on the IT is is medium because you know I've worked with many Slumber Three Casablancas and. Uh, the speeds are very similar. Like this is very similar to a slumber three medium speed. Um, yeah. Here's speed five. Speed five is kind of like a medium high-ish speed. Um, like if, if you want if you want the fan to go really fast, but like not like full blown, then speed five is the speed you'd be looking for on an IT fan at least. Or, or realistically, IT and DC, because most DC motor fans have uh, um, six speeds on them, so I guess there's that for you. Yeah. Oh, come on. Here's speed six, which is high speed on this fan. And I had to reset the IT because, yeah, the, yeah, this, the board in this fan is really is starting to be very messed up. And it does wobble. And it looks worse than what it actually is, but it's just because of how friggin' heavy the light it is. There it is. And I'm gonna turn the fan off. And uh, um, another thing, and actually, actually, I'll do a separate video on that. Um, I was going to talk about the uh, different functions of Intel Touch, but I guess that'll be its own video. So yeah, that is going to do it for this video of this 52-inch uh, polished brass cast black and Cali Zephyr with the Fabian uh, Krenzia like it. And yeah, that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.